All right, welcome to another episode from the Chart Reader. So we got a viewer request here. We're gonna look at NNE, as you see on the screen, LTBR, and then Katra one more time, KTRA, all right? So um, fun fact, I, I saw NNE relatively early. So um, first post was on the 18th on the Discord. I liked this candle on the 14th, Doji never counts. That 18th one really caught my eye and, and from there obviously really good things happened. I was very honest, I, I, I bought it, I ended up selling some and then I sold too early. But you know what, like you can't be sad if you sold too early and made a profit, right? So there's gonna be a little bit of a, of a story there. Um, the next one's a connection because this is a nuclear stock and lo and behold, it sounds like the next one was. LTBR, and I mean, to, today is a beautiful day, right? You break the 100, you go to the 200, you break the 200, and then you're overall and flying, right? So we still need just a little bit more, and I'll talk about that, but I mean, look at the MACD, nice RSI, and good, good volume there. And then Katra, I've been following this one for a few days. It so far is doing the job. We actually did pass the first line, didn't close over it, but um, is there more is obviously going to be the big question here. All right. So i um, excited to talk about this bunch for sure. But before we do go any further and I give you more of my thoughts and opinions, what are we going to do? Same thing we always do, right? We'll take a look at the daily and the weekly to see how these things are setting up short term. We have our five moving averages. I will draw some horizontal support and resistance lines up here. And then when we are done up here, we'll use the MACD, RSI, and volume as our lower indicators. Hey, really quickly, if you can please subscribe to this channel, share this video online with your friends, comment good or bad if you disagree. Look, anything you can do helps so, so much with these YouTube algorithms, but for real, I am so, so grateful that you're just here and giving me your time, all right? So let's get into this one, all right? And one more time, I, I, I found this thing on the 18th, and truth be told, I had no idea it had anything to do with nuclear energy. Obviously, it was in the name, right? But um, it was nothing more than a scanner find that I got, all right? And you can see it, I, I, I call it on the 18th, and this right here is that 18th candle. And, and why did I feel good here? It's because we finally were able to get over the biggest candle to the left. All right, so that's something you're gonna hear me say a bunch if you've never heard it before. I think it's just the easiest to see it when there's very little information, right? So um, we make a good little run. Clearly, it, it, it doesn't do much, but hey, the eight moving average never lets go. And I mean, that alone is so, so much strength, right? I love this eight moving average for a reason. Again, I think it's super easy to see why on such a new stock, right? Um, this was a good candle. All right, this, this easily was a good candle and obviously we close over the resistance for the first time. But again, if you watch my videos, you always hear me say, we gotta get confirmation. We're not here for one good day. We're here to believe that a sustainable uptrend is gonna come, all right? And doji doesn't count, that one is nice. That one caught my eyes and lo and behold, we end up going up. You know, I, I sold too early and it was on this day on the, on the wick down, it ended up, um, it ended up stopping me out. All right. And I'm going to very quickly talk about that right here. So just listen to this and, and, and make you, again, I'm never going to use the word buy, sell, hold, right. But I am not a fan when a candle loses yesterday. All right. You're always going to hear me say at least hold half right? At least do a little better than half. Hey, I'd love you to just like only lose 33% of it if you're going to lose, all right? There was a moment, and I mean, you can see how low the wick goes. This this went too low, and and we ate, we lost, whatever word you want to use. That, that complete candle was gone. Clearly, it recovered, and hey, that's a big reason why I always talk about the close being more important, right? But this thing was able to recover. Unfortunately, when it made the move, it stopped me out, took me out, and I actually lost both of these days. It happens, right? Trust me, the worst thing you can do is two things. One, chase when you're not ready. Look, I couldn't chase. RSI was super high. It was already at a 91, right? Like, it, it, it is what it is. And then obviously, the next day, it still goes up. But RSI was a I wasn't. I wasn't going to... To, to gamble it, right? And I, I had my money other places, you know, hopefully it did better. That's not the point of it, right? But um, I, I lost because it ate too much. Today, that's what we see, 
All right, so look, yesterday opens, right? Look at the second line in the box over there. It opens at 2411. We actually closed even below 24. We lost, we ate, we lost the entire yesterday. And in my book, that's not good. The other thing I always say is, hey, as long as you're over the eight and the 20, good things are gonna happen, right? I think for me, the worry becomes we're probably gonna come down to the eight moving average. And if I had to guess, I think that's about 1850. I can see this coming to 1850, and I think 1850 might end up being the the bounce, the bounce or, or die point. Because if we lose that 1850, if we lose that eight moving average, green, 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 green might be a hard red, 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 red all the way down to the 20 moving average. And again, just assuming that goes up, you might be talking about about 1250 right and to go from 23 to 12 is pretty hardcore i think right now the first low end target is 1850 1880 something in that again i don't pretend to know the math behind these lines they're just computer generated things um i'm just kind of making an assumption based on the slope for me and i'm actually going to set an alert here i would want to get over 2660 regain at least half of this candle and i'll start to believe you know what i mean so let's i'll call it 63 whatever again look an alert is not an immediate buy notification it's definitely a hey come check out the charts but as scared as i am that we lost today two things number one we need it to confirm right you can't let one day dictate so we need to see what today to tomorrow does are we going to drop to that 18 ish maybe 19 ish whatever or are we gonna regain and make me believe we're gonna go up? Clearly at this point, again, there's not a lot of places to draw a line, so it's kind of on the easier side right here, right? But that's our money line. You break 29.16 and we're thinking all time highs. Obviously there were bigger, higher numbers, but yeah, you get over the top of this candle and my, 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 you know what I mean? So RSI was super high. I literally just said that a minute ago, right? 94 that day, 94, 91 that day, right? So makes sense we need to come down. Um, right now, it's still a healthy cool, even if we fall as low as like 17, maybe my mat, what, whatever this eight moving average moves to, right? Maybe I'm overestimating the slope and it's only right there. Um, as long as we're over the eight moving average, it is technically bullish in my eyes, right? The thing is, no one wants to drop from 24 to 18. That's, that, that's a rough drop. That's actually almost a 20% drop, right? So, um, and then look, I'm about to get to it. I even might chapter them together. It makes sense that the connected energy stock, this one makes 24 when NNE loses it. I can see this being a game of jump from here to there and ride this nuclear wave if, if that's a thing. Look, do I believe in nuclear energy, this and that? I'm not gonna lie, I actually kind of do. To me, I believe in science, all right? Like, I, I think science and technology is a, is a, is a good place for, for hard-earned money, right? I know there's a lot of like Chernobyl this and that when it comes to the word nuclear, right? But um, hey, if you can give power to places that don't have power, or you can make power cheaper than it is today, <laughs> make a nuclear plant in my corner for all I care. You know what I mean? So um, money talks, especially if it speaks and, it, and, it, and especially if it saves and it works, right? So um, just a little fundamental opinion right there, right? But yeah, I think, I think it's, it, it's, it's kind of that. I think I'm more leaning towards it dropping to the eight moving average. Again, we see red over green on the RSI. We don't have enough data to get a, a red line on that MACD. Um, clearly this thing has not been trading for 50 days, so we don't have a 50 day volume and we don't have a, a 50 moving average, right? So, um, looking at the hourly, where's the hourly? Interesting. So the hourly has actually slipped below the eight and the 20. It slipped, it tried to get back over and it kind of couldn't. Where are you sitting at? You're sitting at 17. I think 1740 is a little too low. 19 what are you 1850 I, man yeah i still think that this is going to slip i think that's still the the take listen i see it coming down post market that means nothing to me it really does i always say kind of ignore post market um i i am i am more and more afraid of, of of losing more too much of that candle right so that's that's just kind of echoing that a bit but um, I think I'll probably break this one apart from the next one. So let me know your thoughts here. Let me know if you agree or uh, let's look at the weekly. What does the weekly even have? Weekly has nothing. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven. So this is the eighth week. On Monday, we're gonna get a new candle and we will finally get a green dot representing the average of these last eight days, right? Like average eight means the last eight candles. It just so happens that we're looking at a weekly view. So it's gonna take eight weeks until we get this as opposed to on the daily where, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, on the eighth day, we get our little dot, right? So, okay, so I'm wrong. On Monday, we're actually gonna get a dot somewhere here and it's gonna connect to Monday. That's what's actually gonna happen. You can see how little I know the math, right? I just listen to what the lines tell me to do. Let me know your thoughts, let me know your opinions, even if you disagree, LTBR. So hey, I, I can't stress this enough. And I'm not even saying this to boost my like algorithms and this and that. There are some amazing, amazing people that drop really good tickers in the comments, all right? Whether it's on YouTube, whether it's on Twitter, whether it's on stock twits, whether it's on the Discord. And look, nothing's financial advice, but believe me, there are some really, really good opinions that some people are very, very nice enough to drop out of the goodness of their hearts, all right? and. LTBR, I actually did see this one yesterday. I had a little bit of a busy day, so I couldn't take advantage of it, but there were a number of people that actually said, hey, this one looks really interesting. Hey, this one's connected to NNE. Hey, nuclear's picking up, blah, 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 right? So just always check out the team. It's, it's, it's a team here, right? It, it, it really, really is. Um, real quick, actually, to help my algorithm, so if you can subscribe and share, it does wonder. So biggest candle to the left, what was this number? $3.24 is where that closed. Interesting, that actually closed a penny under. Ooh, interesting, interesting, interesting. I, if, it, if it was obviously different, I was gonna say good things, but look, this is a big candle right here. This is a candle on Monday, we were under the 20 and under the 50. On this Tuesday, on yesterday, we, let me make sure before I say this. Yeah, look at that. The open was 259. The average 20 and average 50 were at 57 and 58 respectfully. We gap up over the two lines and then we break a third one. That's a big, breaking a single moving average is tough. Breaking two that are that tight is tough. Gapping over two and then breaking a third one my goodness all right and one thing you're always going to hear me say is if you're going to do something that massive i need big confirmation oh man that's a good confirmation to that so i still need one more confirmation though to make me believe we've broken the 200 i'm going to zoom out and tell you what i think if we break right but there is actually a real good shot that this thing comes i think i think six well, 360 to 365, I think is a real good maybe. I could see it coming as low as all the way to the 200, but I think that's too big a candle. But yeah, I think I'll at least mention that that three. Th okay, hold on. I think I messed up. I got my numbers dyslexic. So this is either gonna come down to 360. I don't know why I thought I said 260. Maybe I didn't. Either this is gonna come down to 360 or 330, okay? Otherwise, if we continue, if we can confirm, oh man, this thing's on the cusp of breaking them all and flying, all right? Goodness, 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 goodness. All right, let's draw, where are you? Um, Where are you? Let's draw that one. Let me lower it just a little bit. Where are you? That's where we wick today. I don't wanna to take today's wick. I'm gonna take that. So again, I do this a little bit zoomed out and I, I do apologize, it's just kind of what I'm used to, right? But it looks like I'm taking the bottom of this October candle, not really, but I mean, sorry, the, yeah, the bottom of it, not really, but whatever. Um, it looks like I'm taking the bottom of that guy. It looks like I'm taking the top of that. Again, I'm not drawing my lines for perfection, I'm here for good enough, That's that, that does me really well. Now arguably that's a little too high to go from to go from four dollars to 460 man that's more than a 10 percent jump so i don't know if that's a little too high for confirmation uh no i can't take that 417 is a little low i don't even think i can take that okay all right that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use this for my line 430 I think if we can break 435 tomorrow, 
I'm going to call that confirmation. And that's going to start making me believe that we're over all the moving averages and flying here, all right? It's very, very, very important to know. Oh, I didn't zoom out all the way. All right, so we've, we've hit, okay, couple things. Let me make sure, let me go to the weekly and validate this. Yeah, look, okay. I mean, goodness, today is Wednesday. And this is already arguably the one, two, three, the fifth biggest week in this stock's history. All right. I don't know what the news was here. I don't know if it's really just piggybacking off NNE, but volume's big here. Volume is big here. We still have a couple days of trading left. All right. In terms of days, I mean, it actually looks like, again, this is arguably a top five volume day, right? It's important to note that every time we've jumped that high, we have dumped horribly afterwards, right? So it's, it, to me, this is a little 50 50, all right? It, it, it actually really is a little 50 50. Um, RSI is a little high at 81, but just it's so it's so diverging from that. This is one of those places where I say, look, I move my money on a on a different stack, the one of the two. I would need more indicators actually here. We're looking at chart readers, and trust me, chart readers is a good little stack in the right hands. Um, I love the volume increase. Look, I think this is my answer. It's all about volume tomorrow. And I'm really looking for 5 million shares. I'm looking for just about double. So if we're going to get 5 million shares in a seven hour day, we're looking for a little more than 700,000 shares in the first hour or about one and a half million shares in that second hour. All right. If we can hit that, there's some reason to believe that this is going to continue for sure. If volume is substantially lower than that 700 and, and 1.4 in those two hours, I think that's going to be the pump and dump that drops this back down to either that, that 360 or 330 number that I gave. Personally, I don't think this is going to come any lower than three. I actually don't even think it's going to come any lower than 320. Maybe, maybe we'll kiss 320. Um, but yeah, I think volume is going to dictate what this does based on the chart reader stack that I got. All right. And again, if we can break, uh, dude, my numbers are dyslexic. If we can break 440 roughly is what that is. I think I'm thinking this. Yeah, man. Ooh, yeah, girl. I'll take that. I'll adjust it just a little bit. I'm actually thinking 560. That's a hard gap down. Green, 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 red, red, red. Little bit choppy there. Maybe it's worth drawing something in between that, basically around five even. But yeah, I think I like that channel right there. So um, watch the volume. I think that's the best advice I can give on this stack. I don't even know if we need to look at the weekly. Interesting. Where are you? 5.30, cool. I don't think this is, dude, how bad was that? I said 5.30, 3.30, I was thinking of the 50. I don't think this is gonna go any lower than, than that 3.20 I mentioned. I think 3.20, 3.30 should actually hold. Um, let me know what you think here. Actually, I'm real curious what, what the team thinks here. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your opinions. Even if you disagree, wow, I can barely speak on this one. My goodness. Katra, 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 Katra. So this is getting very interesting right now. And I, I said it on stock twits. Actually, the trade has already done step one and two. We broke that 28. We rode all the way up and actually surpassed 34 cents. Got as high as 36 sense today all right i have seen so and let me actually what's the high of this candle high of this candle was 38 so that 36 did not get as high as the biggest little green candle right there i obviously said biggest and a little right there comically um this looks like it should break and this looks like it should it should fill the gap all right we have a positive macd we still have a real healthy 60 rsi reading we actually have real nice volume the last six days and we've been growing 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 steady the last three i have seen even better gap fill setups not break and i'm telling you this 34 line is going to be a lot harder than it looks. And I don't know why. I really, really don't know why. But don't 
underestimate the difficulty of that 0.34, despite how good, look, the technicals look good. All right, they really do. That wasn't the best of candles. That was a good candle. That doesn't confirm. Doji doesn't count to me. This confirms that. That could have been a little better. You can argue that this doesn't really confirm that, but that was the continuation I wanted. We're, tomorrow must break 34 cents. This, this has to close at around 36, hopefully even 38. Let's get over that little candle. I really, really, really don't want this to close at 34 or actually even under. Um, I can see this maybe coming to 30. I actually said it earlier on the MEM one. I'll take a look at NAS in a second. Damn, I know I said it. Give me a sec. Sorry, it's a problem with doing things live. Nope. Yeah, we're talking about Katra. We want to see it close. It didn't happen. Okay, we really want to stay over 28 cents. The super danger line is 24. If we go down, we got to hold 32 cents. That was that was and still remains my Katra thoughts. I'm glad we got over it. I wanted it to close. It didn't. It must do it tomorrow. If we're going to go down tomorrow, I'm okay with 32. I would even swallow a 30 cent really really don't want to lose 30 cents very very much don't want to lose 28 cents and definitely the death line is 24 because if you lose 24 we're falling very quickly below 20 cents all right so i think this the 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 tightest number is going to be 32 to 30 um because yeah losing 32 might take you quickly to 28 and that's that's not a great percentage right there right but all about 34 at the minimum like i said we we did step one and two i can't stress it enough this looks like it should break it really really does but the gap fill border is difficult if it breaks i'm thinking 59 maybe 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 50 or like 48 holds it but again those are just red insignificant candles right so it actually could be a very fast move up to 59. i like this i really do like this that's just a harder line than it than it looks like it should again look at this weekly right weekly looks like and it is it's green over red on the macd green over red on the rsi still a relatively healthy 72 it was just a good 89. i mean there, there are things to like on the weekly and the daily, and I think the really easy thing to do, and I would get way more views if I said, for sure this is going to break tomorrow. My gut says it should, but man, I have seen better gap fills not fill, all right? Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your opinions. Hey, I did not talk about the merger. Um, I, I know nothing about this company. It was actually pretty crazy to see how, how much interest there is in this thing. A lot of people are really hyped about this merger in September. The ticker is also going to change as well. So like ticker changes can be really, really big swings and home runs, or they can actually mess things up. Right. Um, I'm interested in learning more. So if you can give me a little more info on Katra, I would very much appreciate it. But yeah, for me, this is just four random letters that are hopefully going to fill this border, fill this gap, <laughs> break the border and fill the gap. Otherwise, I sincerely doubt I'm going to be looking at this thing in September unless some crazy things happen. All right. But um, yeah. Hey, thank you so much for the time. Thank you. Thank you.